Hello, 大家好，我是曾梅。现在呢是。This Asian woman is back, and today she's going to show you how to make a type of Chinese sausage from Hubei Province. I'll call it Wuhan because no one's ever heard of the tiny town she's from near Wuhan. It's okay. There's very few viruses in the sausage, and they'll be cooked out anyway. Get yourself some nice fatty pork. We got a really good deal on all this pork. We cut off a lot of the fat, but this is what it looked like even after we cut some out. You need fat because it gives you flavor and texture. And she's going to teach you two different ways to make this today: one with a sausage-making machine and one without. But either way. Cut your pork into manageable size pieces. Well, that's what the pork looks like. I forget what kind of cut it is. It was cheap. Now, yeah, that's more manageable, as you can see. This is a dried sausage. All sausages in China are dried. You can't really buy fresh ones in the supermarket or anything like that. It has the advantage of keeping it fresh all year round without refrigeration. You can hang it up in your shack. Or outside your apartment window with your underpants. Anyone who's been to China will know what I'm talking about. Anyone who's not thinks I'm a racist. All right, so they're fairly manageable, I suppose. Look at that; they look really good, don't they? Sure, they do. Keep chopping. This meat is just about frozen, very cold. There we go. Now, if you don't have a machine. Just chomp it like that, chop a chop a chop a. If you're confident, bit of a drum roll, and keep going until it's smaller, like that. Watch your fingers. You see how it's got a texture like that? Not too big, not too small. Get yourself a soda bottle. This is a 600 ml one, which is too small actually. I've never seen a used one this small. You're off, you're better off to go with a two liter or a 1.25 liter soda bottle. And look at that, just like pooping. Okay, but that's not a sausage, is it? Because sausages are sort of contained in a kind of skin. But we'll get to that. Here are all the other ingredients. This is some ginger that's been chopped up small. This is a bunch of garlic that's been chopped up small. This is some chili flakes, dried and chopped up small. Here we got some salt. Kind of looks like a mountain with snow on the top, doesn't it? And then we got those Sichuan peppers. What she did is dried them more in the oven than they were in the packet. That's a bit of sugar, by the way. And then crushed it in a mortar and thistle. This is some dark soy sauce. This is some light soy sauce. Mix them together, and you get mediumish, darkish soy sauce. Now in China, they'll probably use Baijiu, which is a national alcoholic drink. But she likes to use red wine because it doesn't taste as nasty. Okay, mix that all up. As you can see, she's got two bowls. The one on the right is the one she's going to do by hand, and she'll put the exact same ingredients in. The one on the left is the one that she'll do by machine. It's just a lot faster, so we did more by machine. Although we did find, because it was the first time we've used a machine, that the texture wasn't as good as the ones done by hand. So, don't fret if you don't have a machine. What she has here is some. Lamb intestine skin.、Um, in China, you'd use pork, but this is what we had on hand. So this is the intestine of a sheep, or at least the skin of the intestine. I've never gutted a sheep. Don't really plan on doing it. There we go. Similar to putting a condom on a robot, just right on there like that. Okay. Now I thought she'd bunch it all up so she could feed it through, but not by hand. You can't, and especially with that little screwy thing. That the bottle top screws onto. What are you talking about? All right. Now grasp this very tightly, just like grasping a robot penis. I mean, we've all done it. I'm just trying to be relatable. Okay. Now, this is the meat that she chopped up by hand with her two knives, and she added the same spices. And she's going to push that in. See how the bottle's a bit too small? Like I said, yeah. Use a bigger bottle. We got these for free. We don't really drink soda, so we got these ones for free. And I invented a new cocktail.、Mm, I'm not going to talk about it any more than that. Look at that! Just like pooping into a condom. Relatable.
Now that's just going to bunch up there and it's not going to go in very well. So what you got to do is squeeze it down. A lot like squeezing poop into a condom, just sort of squeezing it down the end. And then you can keep going and keep adding. Be gentle because the intestine is not invincible. It may break. She didn't break any this day, which is good. The coarser your meat is, uh, the easier it'll be to go in, is what she said anyway. So you don't want it super fine when you chop it up. There we go. It's beginning to look like a sausage, isn't it? Squeeze it right down the end. This takes quite a long time. She was saying that um, when she used to make this with her mom every year, they would spend a whole day doing it. They'd make heaps, obviously. They'd make enough for a year. And you've got to do it in winter because if it's too hot, the meat goes bad. There we go. That's all been done. Now she's going to poke some holes in it. What? We just we were so careful not to break it. Now you're just going to break it on purpose. She reckons that if you don't pop holes in it, it might burst on its own. So. Who can trust her there? Now, let's poke some holes. This will also help it to dry out. Because, like I said, it's a drying sausage. We live in Brisbane, which is not known for its coldness. And in fact, if you're in Brisbane or anywhere in Australia, just be careful because we're not really cold enough. China's a cold, cold place for half the year, anyway, obviously. That's racist. It's not bloody racist. It's winter. It's not even an insult. Okay. So tie that around with some string. You could probably just tie the tie the intestine itself. Look at that. Just like a doctor with gloves too big. Poke some more holes she did. I'm not sure if we uh, got that on film. Poked holes on the other side. Now I thought she'd just give a little twist to put little um, sort of separations in the sausage but mm, she went with the string. This is cotton string. You can cook it. Uh, I might not cook it. If you use a plastic string, I probably wouldn't cook it at all. You know, nylon. Don't use nylon. Alright. Oh, look at that. She's getting pretty good at it. Give that a snip. And that's the first sausage just about done. Do we have to watch this one as well? Where's the editor? Cut that bit out. No one wants to sit through 16,000 bloody knots. Alright. Ta-da! Looks good, doesn't it? You can see the fat, you can see the meat. Let's keep going for hours and hours. It's worth it though, don't worry. Alright, so she did do the rest by hand, but now this is what you do if you have a machine. We borrowed this machine off my dad about six months ago for this video and have never returned it. Forgot to give it back. It's still in that cabinet behind her right there. Alright. So, once you've upgraded your robot, I guess this is how you'd put its condom on. I heard that in ancient times they, they did use intestines as condoms. Well, this video is not for children, by the way, so... If you're a child, grow up. There we go, look at that. So that's all fed on. Just tie the end so the meat doesn't squirt out the end. Okay. We have already had a practice at this. Um, put your intestine in some water before you try this. It helps it go on a lot easier just to lubricate it up. For those of you that like the taste of KY, KY not. Now put that in there. Watch your fingers. They will sausageify them. Yep, it is whisper quiet, so don't forget that it's on. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that. Nothing at all. Did you know that robots poop and pee out of the same hole? Just like a duck. There we go, that was heaps quicker. But I don't know, have a look at the uh, color. See how that's not as patchy as the one before? I think you do want it patchy. We did notice that the texture is not as good when you eat it when using a sausage machine. Oh, by the way, we never show you how to eat this sausage in this video. Our next video will be about cooking the sausage. If you really want to eat it later on, I'm just kind of getting ahead of myself, but you can just boil it 
and gobble it up and it's delicious because it's already got all those herbs and spices. That's the simplest way to boil it up. All right, keep going. Add more meat. Do this until your meat's all used up. And there you go, a big pot full of sausages. Lift those up. Now she's putting these in the fridge for two days because she says that it helps the flavor go through. If you're impatient like me, I'd go straight to the drying phase. You can see the lard in the fridge. Not my wife there, the, the actual pot of uh, fat that we're about to turn into lard. And close that. See those Diet Cokes? We got them for free. Not bragging. I mean, I always brag about Diet Cokes. This is two days later and it's nice and breezy and cool here in Brisbane. This is actually six months ago. I'm, I'm just really slow. We've pretty much eaten all of these sausages already. Didn't die. So I'm always a little bit, whenever she makes any stuff like this, I'm always like, are we going to die if we eat this? But so far so good. There's a theory that from our own point of view, we all live forever. I should say that these sausages are not at all sweet. Sometimes in China you buy sausages and they're too sweet. These are spicy, hot, numbing. There's the monkey that makes it so hard to film. You can see that one right there is the one she did by hand. And there's a couple others, I don't know where they are. Now this is two weeks later. Drying, we put it outside every night. We bought it inside and kept the air conditioner on in the middle of winter, just to make sure it didn't go bad and it was nice and dry and cool. Um, if you live in a cold climate, you don't have to do any of that. In the back is some uh, dried pork, which we have a different video about. You can watch that. These are ready to eat or store. They'll store forever, as long as you need. That's the one she did by hand. Looks heaps better if you ask me, or it looks more like Chinese sausage. All right, there you go. Watch the next video to see how to make it into food. Bye bye.